I really do like this outside office. People might think I'm a little strong sitting here with a chair in my yard. Well, it took me quite a while to get my outdoor office set up. I like it. It's actually my backyard. 2020 has been one heck of a year. Um, for everyone in the world, I guess, but uh, specifically the Philippines, um, they went through a really rough October with, I think, nine named typhoons or, or tropical storms. People lost their lives, a lot of flooding, a lot of damage. Um, heartfelt uh, best wishes go out to the people of the Philippines. Thankfully, uh, in our area of Samar, we haven't had any really serious issues this year. We've had a couple wind and rain events, but uh, for the most part, uh, no problems. <coughs> the pandemic continues. Uh, um, some areas of the world seem to be spiking again. The United States seems to be spiking. Here in Guam, uh, most businesses are open. Uh, restaurants and bars are still closed per se, although restaurants can accommodate people with outdoor seating. No indoor dining as of yet. Movements in Guam are um, still not all that restricted. Uh, we can pretty much shop at will, go where we want to go. We can hit the parks, the beaches, the stores, uh, supermarkets. Uh, business is pretty much open, so, and we can go anywhere we want to, so there's really no lockdown per se. All the, although the governor uh, of the Department of Health here just recently, last week, announced that they would, they are highly encouraging people to not do their Thanksgiving this year. I don't think by law they can shut it down, but uh, from what it looks like, uh, people are still buying a lot of turkeys, so I think Thanksgiving's going forward here. The governor did make sort of a comment that, uh, uh, or the joke is that she's basically holding Thanksgiving hostage so we can have Christmas. Election stress. Everybody's dealing with it. Personally, uh, I'm disappointed, uh, and I've tuned myself out. I have not really watched much news in the last couple weeks. Uh, just tidbits in passing or what I see on the internet, but I don't know where things stand um, And personally, I you know, I don't care anymore It's not really going to affect my life and I know that sounds kind of self-centered But you know, what is a person supposed to do? You've got to think about you and your own family and your loved ones and outside of that um, You know, whatever enough of that On the home front, we've had some uh, a couple things happen to us. First thing is, uh, for some odd, strange, sneaky ass reason, somebody compromised our, our debit cards to our bank account. We didn't lose a lot; just maybe three or four transactions were processed, but there were 18 transactions that were declined. The strange thing about this is that both of our cards, which have different numbers, were both compromised at roughly the same time on the same day uh, as charges uh, were attempted on both cards on the same day. So, and, and here's the thing, my wife hardly uses her debit card and mine, I rarely use it, uh, basically just for online automatic payments. Um, so how they got her number, I don't know, but so it sounds to me like a, uh, a database was compromised or breached, but the bank won't admit it. Oh well. So we've got them replaced. We uh, we we filed uh, for uh, what do they call that. Uh, we contested the charges, and the bank's going to handle it, I guess. So hopefully we'll get our money back. It's only a couple hundred dollars at the most. So no big deal. The biggest and saddest news that we have had here um, is that our best friend. And family pet, Fat Boy, uh, has passed away. 
We let him out one morning to do his usual thing, and he usually hangs out for an hour or two outside and then comes back in the house and stays home all day. But this morning, Mooney dogs. Uh, Mooney dogs are, are uh, a problem on Guam. They're estimated to be 20,000 Mooney dogs roaming the jungles and the streets here. It's not much different than the Philippines, but the Mooney dogs here can be a little bit more uh, aggressive. But they got him, and uh, we took him to the vet. Um, she did surgery on him, yeah, but a little too late, I guess. Uh, he, he lived pretty much throughout the day and passed away that night, so so we buried Fat Boy. He, uh, he was the last actor I featured in my last video. That's kind of maybe the reason why I haven't done many videos here lately. I just have not been in the mood. Travel to Samar. We still have not made any plans to travel there. Um, because while some areas of the Philippines are opening up, our barangay in Samar, out just outside of Calbayag City, still requires a 14-day quarantine. And the quarantine for us would be on the basketball court. It's a covered basketball court, but it's an outside basketball court. Uh, and we can almost see our rooftop from the basketball court. Um, my wife and I have both decided we're not going to have, we don't want to deal with that. Uh, living outdoors, uh, in you know, separated by plastic sheeting where six or seven or eight other people might be quarantined. It just doesn't make any sense and I don't see no point in it. In my luck I'd probably get bitten by mosquitoes and die from dengue. So we're staying here until all that crap is resolved. How long that will take, nobody really knows. The only little bit of other news I have to share is uh, Yahoo Groups, or Yahoo Online, has announced they will be shutting down Yahoo Groups. Um, I don't know how many of you use uh, or visit Yahoo Groups, but there's there's a mainstay living in the Pacific group on Yahoo that has been a go-to site for many, many years for a lot of expats and wannabe expats. Um, it's been a reliable source of information. There's been thousands of people that have uh, have been through that forum, and unfortunately, uh, living in the Philippines and Yahoo is going away. I think December 1st is the the day that Yahoo has marked for uh, turning all that all the, all the groups off. Um, and their reason, I think, is they're they're basically saying that. Um, their customer base in large part has migrated to uh, more reliable sources, whatever that means, or premium sources. Um, I'm thinking YouTube has probably been uh, one of the reasons for the big demise of uh, online forums. Uh, and that leads me to uh, announce again that my blog which uh, I have been publishing for about eight years. I have not done much with it lately. Uh, the traffic has been way down. Um, I, I get no contributions to help fund the blog anymore. And it's just uh, the amount of money that it costs me to run the blog is uh, is basically eating up any profits that I'm making. So the blog is in its final days, I think, uh, unless I can find a way to reprieve it, reprieve, reprive, revive. My blog needs a stay of execution, and I think it's basically YouTube again that's uh, that's converting all the readers into couch potatoes. They'd much rather sit around and watch videos than read a book. And I think uh, if you ask most kids today what they'd rather do, um, most of them will watch a video rather than sit down and read a book. We all know that's true. And uh, of course, these video channels, all their Patreon accounts, they're the ones probably raking on all the money. So. That's enough of that. Yeah, so Halloween. Here we are in McCrouse. We saw these guys, they're ready to go ride on their cycle. Oh, we were, we were That's ride. Melinda's birthday present oh. to herself, MX5. Uh, just outside of Inaraha in Guam. Here we are, I got my mask. I gotta poke us and jab us and stick us and take our temperature and all that stuff, right?
We joined up with some friends here this day at McCrout's German restaurant uh, in for a birthday celebration of sorts for one of the young ladies here. I won't tell you which one, but uh, she's the one with the new car. And actually, if you watch to the end, I think you'll figure out who it is. Oh, I could have rolled it. Well, okay, the filter wagon is open for business. You guys need anything else? Say, you coming? Yeah. Okay, hello everybody. I know. Oh, they're both simple. I know. Follow me. That's why. Yeah, but I still can't get over the Philippines. Ice, ice. But it's the only way to keep it going. You know, I don't mind that. Yeah. And really good. It was a heavy beer. Oh, yeah, I don't like it too heavy. Okay. Yeah. It comes with a lemon, right? Oh, you want that lemon? Yeah. Well, crystal bites can always come with a lemon. Is that like a light beer? Or is that, is that no, it's a wheat beer. Or finish. But I mean... How light is that? It's like a locker. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, it's good. A Reuben for 11 Oh, uh... Bratwurst. Cheeseburger. Reuben sandwich. So here I sit in my tropical paradise. How much better does it get? I'm gonna try that one next, that one next, that one next.